joined by case manager Alan Dowson after this afternoon's 3-1 home defeat against Wealdstone. Alan, given our second half performance, you disappointed not to take anything oh, from the game? Definitely, the first half, I got what we deserved, you know. I, I thought we were better than that. Like, Lodgy's took the club on his first <laughs> tackle there, my first um, challenger, and the uh, uh, midfield for you know, getting battered. Um, and their movement of their front two was frightening compared to ours. So I thought we got what deserved it. Again, we've conceded a goal from 35 yards. I don't know how that, that's happened like, you know, defensively. Goalkeeper, 35 yards, a long way to the ball to go in. But second half, I thought we should have kept I thought we um, had a very good and just for a little gamble in the last two minutes, you know, we had a lot of good chances and played some good football. I can take a lot of positives out of the second half, really. I can't take any out of the first. But again, I think it's the seventh fifth time we've conceded three goals at home. Um, last time we played these, we conceded five. So, uh, I need Gary Mack back, that's for certain. Tom Hutchison, I think he'll be fit for next Saturday. I need him back, that's for certain. So, uh, uh, just to uh, fight a gap of uh, conceding goals, wouldn't stop that at all. I believe we'll score goals with the players we've got, you know. It was academic in the end, but what's your take on the penalty? Suggestions where it's outside the box? Uh, that's what Thomas says, but the officials, I suppose you're going to this respect campaign tomorrow, and at the minute I've got no respect for officials whatsoever. They may not have nothing for me, but I just look at them and I think they're pathetic. I really do. What, how did you rate our defending first half of the two goals that they scored? Right, and I, um, you can't believe it. You said out, we said, oh, let's attack them. And we did see it, I was wrong looking at the team in the morning. He sort of said, like, well, it's a very good attacking team, but defensively through the team, is it good enough? When we get played two against two in the middle, we've not been good enough all season. First half, we got battered in there. Um, could have been a lot more. But second half, to be fair, as we said to this relax and go and play. And if you nick one, when we got one, I really did think we we're going to get another. And just a little killer blow, blow at the end, to be honest. But yes, defensively, first half was very poor. Strikers feed on confidence, obviously. How important was it for Paul Vines to get his first ah, goal? I got off and he, he started showing aggression then, didn't he? And he started doing the right things. And he was a better out the front, too, to be honest. Um, all right, so I always thought once I get cracking, and I always thought we'll score today. It's just defensively a game. Here we are at home. Um, a chance. Um, at home to get a run going and we'll concede three goals again but I've got to look on positives that we are creating chances just got to work on defensive side of things you know Dean Lodge back at the club this yeah. afternoon how do you think he did it's going to take him a few games to get ah, it was, again, I, I, yeah, he's, uh, I thought he started off our eights and um, then he took a clump in the first five minutes which is typical the look when you it's not going for you but he'll be fine and it, we'll give him a ball we will and then hopefully we'll give him a lot of a ball on Tuesday um, next Saturday at Houston, so that's what we've got to do and on Dean Lodge, when we last spoke about him, it was just after he'd been released, you're fairly adamant that, that perhaps the door was shut here. Um, what's happened this week to make you change your mind? Yeah, no, really, it's, it, it, it's worth saying talking about what happened, how would it happen, all right, you know, it feels like he's back for 12 games. Um, no, and it's up to him to try to help her get the confidence south, and um, that's what the deal is. We'll let him wait and see, not the best of starts to do, but the truth of the matter is, I do believe he's got a little bit what might get her back in. And one of the reasons you mentioned was that perhaps his influence in the dressing room. How have the other players reacted to having him back? Very good. I know, and very good. And I think everybody's happy to see him back. Um, we saw some signs when he was running that people, that's what we need. But then he's got a whack and can't do nothing about that. But we'll get him fit for next week. He'll go next week and he'll run off people and he'll excite people. And that's what we thought, think we need in a team like, you know. And a, a fit Dean Lodge offers something different, something that, that not a lot of other clubs got. How, how confident are you that, that having him back in the team can help us cement a plan? Yeah, I'm place? sure I can. Yeah, it, 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 that's the plan anyway. You know, we've got, we haven't had anybody with flair, really. Sam Clayton's closest to it, who can win a game on its own, and he can if he's on the bench. You let him come on and try to win a game. Um, the truth of matter is, you know, when he left us when we were second and we went up to fourth, I think it was sixth, and we went up to fourth, so obviously we missed him a bit. He's done nothing since he's been away from his football club, so he's missed us a bit. And that's the bottom eight, to be honest, you know. Um, you mentioned that we're down to six now. We are. It's the first time we've been outside the playoffs since the second game back in August. How big a challenge is it to get back in there? No, now? no, it's, it's 12 games ago, 36 points. Stacks of games ago, it'll be tough. We'll know that anyway, but uh, you know, we've got as good a chance as anybody. And um, we've got to dig in, simple as that, we've got to dig in. It'll be very tight to come, there'll be a lot of. No, I think it'll be a, a, a lot, but we've got good at here since now we've got to win the game, something like that, you know. How tough a game is it going to be next Saturday down at Hastings? Ah, because they're fighting their lives down there. We're fighting for our lives at the top end of it. It's going to be a hell of a game. Ah, we've got to go and win the game, something like that. Thanks very much. Cheers. As ever, appreciate Bye it. You.